Hey everyone in internet land, welcome to IR4, which is the podcast about the fourth industrial revolution. This is Brian, I'm Jeremy, we're with our guest Adam Farragali. We're talking about AI today. So this is a general conversation. We discussed uh, about 25 seconds ago that no one here is an expert on artificial intelligence, but... Well, how can you be? It's I mean, almost impossible. Right. Um, I hear you. But these two are the smartest guys I've ever met in my life, or at least some of them. And so we're going to have conversations. <laughs> we're going to have conversations about what is artificial intelligence? What does it look like going into the future? Do robots get paid? How is humanity going to survive? What does it look like? What are the first things to become autonomous or automated? Or what does that intelligence look like? Is it conscious? Is it unconscious? Who knows? So uh, first question I'll just start off with. I'm just going to throw it your way. You are a business expert, I would say. You take businesses and make them better online. Right. Sure, that sounds great. <laughs> so, in your industry, is there any kind of automated intelligence or artificial intelligence that you see coming into the online sphere as far as website automation? Well, I mean, look, if you think of it like this, right? When you watch Minority Report and you walk into a store and it already knows what you previously purchased, right? Yep. And gives you recommendations. I think that's right around the corner, you know, as far as being able to use a chip or a smartphone, or some way of tracking your previous purchases and giving you recommendations based on that. Right? You, you mentioned my report earlier. I haven't seen that in forever. Yeah, well, I mean, as but far as a, you know, an AI movie, I mean, it's, it's up there. Yeah. You know? And yeah. I like it because it's not all, you know, doomsday. Right. As Which, well. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of those. Well, that's the, prime, that's the majority, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the whole Elon Musk, you know, AI is going to rule the world kind of thing. Do you yeah. think it's going to happen? Is that, I think, is I think it's a realistic possibility, absolutely. I mean, well, because look at humanity and what we're doing in a lot of ways to the planet and how we live our lives. You know, war, constantly on the edge, you know, nuclear annihilation, carbon, carbon buildup on the planet. You know, who knows what that's going to be? And, you know, if, if we birth, a, a, you know, essentially a consciousness and he also wants to live on this planet, you know, what's, you know, and you, you know think about it. Yeah. Like, where does that lead to? You mentioned he. Or she, or it, or, or whatever yeah. you want to refer to it. <laughs> well, you know? It's got to be very gender fluid, <laughs> I, I would imagine. They. <laughs> we'll come up with a new pronoun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably. We'll probably have to at that point. I just feel like this is going to, this this conversation is going to go a lot of in, in a lot of different directions. Which is sure. fine. Which is fine. It's just good. So I was kind of doing some studying before we walked in today about uh, AI and whatnot, and... I remember I recalled a uh, a, a, a report or an article I read um, of the different types of AI. Like there's narrow AI where you're you're it's solely that that algorithm is solely focused on executing one job and can't move outside of that task. Yeah, that'd be but, like an Alexa of the world, right? Yeah, yeah. then like a GPS or right. you know something of that manner. I mean. Would we, would you say that all of our apps have their own AI? I mean, all it is is mathematical algorithms, yeah. maybe. right? But then the fascinating part is the uh, the deep learning or the um, general purpose AI, and that is pretty bizarre. And that and how that AI learns, like for example, um, what's the name? I was just on the the website today where it learns from gathering uh, information, so mm -hmm. it's always receiving. And right. it's receiving from human beings. Or is it interaction? Like, right. And it's and it takes all the information uh, from uh, people asking it questions or people just talking to it. Like there's a there's a bar you can type anything into it. Are you talking about Google? No, <laughs> no, no. There's a bar you can type in anything. And it gives you an then, answer. No, oh, wait a minute. Uh, you know what? That I, exists, man. It's called. I think I think it's it's and on. It's uh, also always self learning. Yeah, you know, yeah. Your patterns. <laughs> but it's on. Um, I was just on it today. I'll pull it up. Yeah. But um, but think of all the data that goes into that. So much. So much. And data. storing all that data. Oh, you say data. Huh? I say data. Data? Data? Yeah. I'm a data kind of guy. That's, that's what I say. Yeah. Well, I mean, so in regards to like the, the deep learning uh, artificial intelligence, my question is like what would be, uh, Adam, if you had, a, if you had a, <clears throat> a result, like what was the purpose of creating it? In your opinion, what would it be? Like, why even make it? If we have an well, idea they, of what it's going to do, why Again, it goes back, I think, humanity, right? I mean, you have the side that uh, maybe wants to have an edge on others, right? Okay. And, and potentially wants to use it to solve their problems, mm -hmm. right? Which potentially could be war or whatever. And the other side of it is to make things easier, right? Uh, autonomous driving, you know? I mean, Uber wants to have, what, uh, a car that drives you around in 10 to 15 years, if not less, mm -hmm. without having a driver, 
right? Yeah. So that's coming. So you have Teslas that drive themselves now. That's nice. That's so then nice that's, feature. and I think that's one thing that a lot of people are, are concerned is losing jobs. And I mean, I can still hear, you know, the old people saying, oh, this robot took my job at the factory. And it's just like, okay, well, you're going to have to. But, but you could say that about the industrial revolution for decades and yeah. decades and decades. We yeah, adapt, yeah. we learn, we're going to find bu- a new That's skill business, set. man. That adapt or die. That's, yeah. that's the trick. And I know? think uh, human content. So what we know who we are what we put out into the the world, into the internet, is going to be something of value. So you're actually going to have to become more creative, I think, because instead of just learning how to screw a screw in this one part of this machine and it goes down the assembly line, you know, we're talking about the the, re, the, the revolutions here. The, the, the Industrial Revolution and the assembly line and Henry Ford did, like, made that happen, but now, like, we're moving into this next chapter. Yeah. Where robots will Model be doing threes that. build the, the, the robots build the entire yeah car. really yeah wow. no well I'm sure some humans you know quality control and some have to oversee yeah. the machines but yeah. for the most part you're not like he's saying it's not a screw so where's our hammer. worth gonna where's our worth that's as human beings gonna go I want to dive into this for sure because this is a, this is a massive topic all right so we're talking artificial intelligence comes. Uh, they're taking, they're, they took our jobs. Uh, <laughs> what are they going to do? Yeah. Right? Like, what do we do as humans if we have a lot, you know, automated this, automated that, automated, what are humans doing to make money or to add value? To add value, yeah. What, what Are you saying we're becoming I, more I, creative? Well, I, I think that the content that we put out into the world is, I mean. Uh, Musicians? Painters? Um, that so type you, of content? So you're saying an AI couldn't play guitar? Mmm, see? Ah, oh, that's, oh, that's a good drum. question. Oh, that's a good you know, question. I mean, most beats these days yeah. are artificial. Yeah. Right? yeah. I right. think it, the, the creative element, that's a good point. what you make in this world, whether whether you write a book and or, or write a song or whatever it is, something that other people as humans value will be some, like, the currency of, of in some way, hmm. I believe. Well, I mean, that's the question becomes if artificial intelligence does do that type of work. Do we pay them? If they're smart what enough? What are we going to do... pay them? What are robots like? That's what I'm saying. AI and all these algos. Like, I, I, think, you, I think you're right. It's I mean, just it, but, but, if, but if they're if, smart if, enough. I think you do pay them. You have to. If they're meet, smart right, enough, if, they if, want if something. If they're of that level of consciousness, yeah. then they're going to have fear, greed, right? Which controls everything. They learn, our, they learn our emotions. They become better, quicker versions of us. They sure. want something in return for what they do. Sure. Why wouldn't they want to drive an Aston Martin around? Right? Yeah. Why wouldn't, they, so, why wouldn't they want to travel? The, I pulled up the website. It's called Cleverbot. Cleverbot. And you can you can type anything into it, and it's like questions. Like for example, I was like example. I was like, "What's your name?" And I didn't want to put Brian in there, <laughs> so I put Norman. <laughs> Norman. <laughs> yeah. This is, and he and, and the, Brian guy. You didn't put Brian guy. No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> um, my name is. And it says, my name is G-Y-U-R-I. Nice to meet you. I said, how do you pronounce your name? It goes, because I have amnesia. What does that mean? Oh, That's yeah. what I'm saying. So it's like, it's re- it receives from all these different people asking it questions or a- answering questions that it may ask. Like, I mean, I had a whole conversation with this thing. and it's Clever pre- bot. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's cool just to, like, later, let's see... What? I think there's somebody on the other end of that just laughing his ass. <laughs> this guy's been out here for like two hours. Let's keep walking. Yeah. I've got a great idea. Let's create a cl- cleverbot.com. Yeah, we'll just that. be the answers. Yeah, right. just like, somebody sitting there. Just... I said, "What do you know what the Industrial Revolution is? Wait, and it goes, wait, you don't know? No, explain. And then it just, it's crazy what this thing does. What song should I play? That's, uh, that, okay. this is supposed I, to be. But it doesn't mean anything, though. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But but it, the algorithm, it takes everything in, and then that's how it, it, it builds its database. It's, it's not like the algorithm isn't built to execute on one job. The algorithm is built to just absorb everything. And then from there, it can start depicting what is the most important data coming in. And then from that, it can build onto it. Now, we've never achieved the, the, uh, the state that would be comparable to a human. Um, but when we get there, is there a kill switch? I mean, how do we stop this thing? Like, the I remember the the Google uh, the Google robots uh, created their own language, and they had to kill the project because they couldn't understand what the robotic was language saying. was. Yeah, well, let's talk more about that. Okay.
Google has been doing a lot with artificial intelligence. You mentioned Cleverbot, like gathering information and data. I mean, that's probably how they're doing. They have teams and droves of people working on artificial intelligence. Uh, they, they had an AI teach itself how to walk recently. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you heard about that, uh, the our Google Deep Dive. What other yeah. companies do you think are, I mean, on verge with Google? I mean, we're talking about Boston Robotics. Are they focusing on more robots or artificial intelligence? Or what other companies are leading the way that you might have heard of? Adam, do you have anything? You know, or is look, it just Google? Look, I mean, look, Elon Musk is developing his own artificial intelligence. He's got a whole team of people. Yep. I heard about that a couple of years yep. ago, and it's a startup. You know, he, wa- he wants to jump ahead of the trend. He wants to control it. You know, or or he actually said the opposite, which is making it open source. Which I don't even know how that would pop. Yeah. I don't, know what the, don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> open source. Well, I mean, no, open, open source, source AI means, right? I mean, open, what does yeah. that translate to? Yeah, I mean, does that mean that people can build their their I mean their own AI? I mean, do you remember Bicentennial Man? Y'all yes, that movie? loved that. Robin movie. Williams, I love that movie. The Three Laws and everything. Fantastic film, right? Fantastic so, film. Robots in our house. Let's say that's 10, 15 years away. I mean, I already have a Roomba. Yeah, right? well that yeah same same so year. That's the same thing. It's yeah. just not as complicated. Correct. So that's coming. I think 10, 15 years is early though. I think it's gonna be a little bit later because there's. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Really? But, I mean, people in the 80s were like, hey, we're going to be flying How cars in 2020. Think about it. How old are they? It depends on it depends on the technology, though. I mean, that, that interaction with that robot and like being able to hold you know babies and like clean things, I think that's a long way away. But that's just me. Maybe wow. I'm totally wrong. Oh, but because they said in the 80s we'd be flying cars and you know taking rocket ships to the moon and living on Mars. That's like uh, technology moves, but not that fast. I yeah. think it's advancing a lot faster now, though. It is. It did in the 80s. It so. Is. So if, when we're talking about the advancement of AI, what, is there a point where there's a consciousness that is developed or is it, you know, you said earlier, we birth a conscience? I wouldn't be surprised if it's already happened. So you're saying a robot there has a conscience right now. I would not be surprised that there are military, you know, governments around the world that have already achieved. I mean, look at look at my Mavic Pro drone. I was telling Jeremy this the other day, right? It's an incredible piece of technology that literally you can fit into the palm of your hand, and you know, it stabilizes itself and it's self flying the whole nine, right? Imagine what the military has. I forget if about, that's a thousand dollar drone. That's a good point. I forget okay? about what the military has all the time because I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, this is all the you know cool consumer stuff. So you know they have self seeking. Sure, they're, they're, you know, sure. There's some ro- there's some robots that probably, but self awareness. I mean, well, I guess we well, have Watson, to, IBM. I, I know. I guess we have to define what human consciousness Ooh. is in order for Ooh. us to appropriately define <laughs> robots. A robot gaining consciousness. Are we even conscious? I mean, yeah, I mean, we're going to talk about it. Now we're Yeah, we need, we need some shroom tea. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Most days I'm not. I'm just like, just like, you know, fog. Yeah. I mean, that, that's where the whole, we were talking, you mentioned earlier, The Matrix, that movie. Like, what is consciousness? Like, what world are we living in? I mean, are we living in a Matrix? Is that really a microphone? I mean, yeah, we can get deep into that stuff. But I mean, that's, when, um, when asked, when robots are asked that question, like on Google or, or Cleverbot, are humans conscious? They sometimes will say no. Like even we're yeah. not. We're not. We're not conscious. Yeah. So I mean, what does that mean? I, I think <laughs> it simply means the. In my, in my opinion, in that particular instance, I think it means a, a robot or a mind or an algorithm or a program being able to determine humanistically: Do I kill or not kill this person? Do I take a life? Or do I not take a life? I think that is the, an, a solid ultimate level of consciousness. Where the Terminator movies just they, they adapt it and go, yeah, they're weaker. Let's kill them all. Or, or, or what or if you have a, so the conscious they but they're, they're, they're not moral what if you have a robot that misinterprets what consciousness is yeah. and says you guys are living in the maker matrix so I'm going to kill you so you can move on to the next phase in oh. existence oh. Yeah. and That's it's like one. oh my god That's is deep. this this thing wow. says that there's another and maybe there's another dimension wow. or you know the the next realm of yeah. being yeah. yeah this robot or this consciousness AI knows it and says Hey, there's something a lot cooler past this door, but you need to die here in this reality in order to go there. Sure. So, choice is yours. Do you want to die or not? And then people, I think, are going to opt in and be like, yeah, <laughs> give me the red pill. And it's maybe, like, maybe. Maybe. I don't, I don't, maybe. And then, you know, just yeah, like. That's big. That's big, though. I mean, we've seen it with cults, cult leaders, and, and yeah. people, you know, convincing yeah. other that's people, true. hey. That's very true. This, this comet's going to be flying by. Once in our lifetime, and it's coming tomorrow, we need to drink this Kool-Aid so we can hop a ride on it. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the thing you mentioned earlier, though, like, you know, if, 
will it want to be self-preservation, right? Will it want to achieve more? If it's bird, you know, if it's if it wants to replicate and grow and have its own area of yeah. Earth or potentially other planets one day, you know, does it want to get off Earth? Is it just like a let me be alone, or is it going to fight for more territory like any other human, right, or any other species here on this planet? Yeah, yeah. And Ashley brought the question: Would it be generous? Would it give? Would it want to help other other robots uh, grow? Would it be tit for tat? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll help you if you help me. Sure. I'll solve your your global climate crisis <laughs> if you let me have an island in the Bahamas. I see. Well, I, I think that <laughs> that is where we really start to grow is when they start when robots start recognizing or algorithms start recognizing each other and when they start solving each yeah. other's problems. Yes, yes, yes. It, so that's something that people yeah. don't talk about a lot because like if we get one smart, just one that's really smart goes, oh, I know what's wrong with all of them and just starts fixing them. Yeah. And that could happen real fast. You know, like imagine if Google it's didn't insane. shut down that, the uh, what, what is it called even? I forget what project it was, but they had their we own language and we couldn't even. What's that? Facebook? Was it Facebook's? Facebook oh, it was Facebook. Shit. It wasn't Google. Okay. Mm, well, either way, Google. I mean, two it's titans, game, right? but... It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't... The, the point so is, far. <laughs> they shut it down. Yeah, they, they shut it down, but I mean, how did... sense. Good grief. Yeah, so it scary. started coming up with a language. They didn't know... They couldn't figure out what they were saying or what it was saying or... Man, um, that's yeah. wild. That is wild. That's scary. I mean, because that's the thing. If you think... I mean, they could talk not only maybe in binary, but if they can come up with their own language immediately or, sure. or very quickly, then... Ooh, goosebumps. Yeah, and you know, I love Man. how I love how all this is tied together because, you know, AI falls into the Internet of Things at home. You know, like I think you're gonna have very design. You're gonna have to have uh, robots designed to execute very uh, specific tasks, like a vacuum cleaner and whatnot. But then eventually, over time. Oh, your laundry, your right. dishes, your links. cooking. Yeah. I mean, you name it. Like, life's going to get easier and easier. Yeah. You know, and, and, and is that a good thing or a bad thing? Right? But there's there's a comedian that has the joke that as as the future goes, things are going to get faster and faster, right? Travel from L.A. to New York City will yep. be like an hour and yeah. that'll be 10 minutes. But the DMV will still take six fucking <laughs> seconds. <laughs> it's like, I'll still be waiting 10 seconds to get my license. Yeah. Uh, how, how How is all this functional? Yes, computer code, some some language is needed, but for the majority, like, mathematics makes all this work. So, we talk about, you know, uh, high-frequency trading or algo trading. Um, applying, applying very, um, I guess you would call them, uh, they're more theories than they are um, actual definitive mathematical properties. Because there's you know, when you're talking about theory, math, you know, infinity, and my senior thesis was the mathematical fun function of infinity in nature, and it's mm. called a fractal. So fractalizing in nature, snowflakes, river rivers, things of that nature. But um, meaning the uniqueness of them. No, me, uh, for example, a fern. So you can go as deep into a fractal as you want. It's a function of infinity, so it's never ending, and. Um, like if you look up the Mandelbrot set is a fractal, but it's like a picture of, and then when it keeps going it closer and closer and closer, it's almost like repetition and it's the same image within the image. Hmm. So um, a fern is a good example, like a, pl a plant, yeah. you know, yeah. like if you look at a fern leaf, it looks like there's more fern leaves and more fern leaves. And it's really fascinating. It's in um, some vegetables and whatnot. But when you uh, start applying these theoretical mathematical concepts to robotics and AI, then you're getting into like almost the quantum computing realm. And now we're looking at, you know, endless possibilities. I mean, almost like where we can't even fathom and understand what it is. Because again, there's this math that hasn't been discovered yet. So the more math that gets discovered and, and gets proved, I think the more applicable well, it will yeah. be to the robots. Yeah. So I think math is the frontier of where we're go of of everything of our very existence, um, hmm. but without but without that, I mean, these computer codes and and all of this matter. wouldn't even matter. Yeah, that's. So you're saying kids should take math more seriously in school? I think I think STEM <laughs> STEM is huge. Yeah. You know, um, science and math I think is is very important for the advancement of technology. I mean, it's, it's the reason why all this is here. But if you don't have that creative realm or that you know. A liberal arts uh, background, you're not going to have 
people who can design and, and create these cool things. So I think it's both important, yeah. but I mean, I guess it's, you know, six to one, half a dozen to the other. They're sure. both important. Sure. So what do you think? Um, well, I'll just say this. I could make a case for just learn to dance. All right. Yeah. Yep. Your liberal arts degree is freaking worthless. Learn how to weld. Right. Learn how to do something <laughs> productive. And if you don't love it, then you could, you know, use your conscience at that point to go and build something that you really, truly do know. Right. Yeah. But this whole, you know, getting a degree and having all this math and science degrees and stuff, if you're not going to go into that because you have a passion for it, right? You're just wasting I your, totally your four agree. years of your life. And I think, it, I, and, and frankly. And then you're going to get out with no job opportunities. And frankly, I think it's the, the sick system that human beings are stuck in that is going to allow for AI and robots to take over because you know what we do? You, they don't you, care. You, you, they don't care. And, you teach and, them how to weld, they're going to weld the shit out of it. Here, here's yeah. the worst part about Everything is that we are the the sheeple of the world are stuck in this sick system where you go to college and you get higher education. It's supposed to be higher education. And you're paying a quarter of a million dollars for it. Then you get out and you're stuck in debt. Yep. And you can't get a job in the field that you studied for, sure. or you don't like it, and you're not going to do anything. And you're going to go in and Facebook and YouTube all day at your cubicle because you hate your life. Mm-hmm. And then guess what? Next thing you know, the the robots are are taking over and doing all of these things for you. Are those the people who are scared of robots taking their jobs? Though? I don't know. Because I think I think people who are outside that realm that I, they I, think, I think there's it. some real people that are going to get affected. Like you know, absolutely the, the CVTA, right? Commercial Vehicle Trucking and Training Association. Absolutely, they train, they train most of their schools and organizations train all the truck drivers. Okay, that's going to be an industry that's going to be massively disrupted by trucks that it can drive the Thomas highway vehicles. systems yeah, Thomas autonomously. Okay. Yeah. And, and a truck driver is a truly good job. Absolutely. You can make forty, fifty thousand dollars almost out. immediately. Yeah. Okay. And you can make as much as ninety if you're good. Right. Yep. And benefits and, and you know, all that. So not a, it's not an easy job. You're on the road, long hours. Okay. But at the end of the day, that there's a lot of jobs where good people ultimately could make a living, raise a family on that are going to be totally disrupted. So, so what should they do? Yeah. Well, what will they do in that situation? Well, like everything, it's adapt. Learn how to weld. You know. <laughs> Look, if you can't drive a truck, learn how to weld. I mean, look, look at the factory jobs. Where where'd all those people go, right? They moved on. They services. went to service businesses, services. mostly. Well, that, that's Or they learned new craft, new trades, okay? Well, they went back to school. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's my big picture is they're going to – when you have a job that can be disrupted by artificial intelligence uh, because it is – it has the – Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no worries, man. So it has, like, these functions, these things that just repeat it over and over, like – this is what I do. This is what happens. This is where I go. You know, any type of job that can be automated quickly or seamlessly, mm-hmm. the industries will become more service-related industries. So people will come, you know, there'll be more in-home masseuses because you're not going to have a robot do that necessarily for a while. Or you might have more movies or more. Why not? My auto gives me a, a massage now. I mean, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Absolutely yeah. something. But, I mean, you're going to have more services that are going to be happening. More people are going to become either musicians or they're going to do things that, are service related. Uh, I are think, more creative. yeah, yeah, more creative, and I think the content. I mean, yeah, but look, how does this society benefit, support that? Well, you I have mean, hundred thousand more musicians coming online every year. You know, there's only so many people that can listen and pay for music. Sure. So then, then your uh, the scenes like people actually go out and they enjoy the music more, or they they do more with people in a way like they connect more because if their jobs are taken and they're like okay well that job's taken they're gonna go adapt and create some That's brand true, new type of job maybe they i mean musician's gonna be a hard life for it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough case. yeah so, do you like paying cover charges i do not like paying cover charges okay. all right and i mean you, do you tip the band you know what i'm saying like they don't make much money no i mean I, I, think, I think if you look at from a from a creative content type uh perspective and not just music so this is you know people who I mean, we've all seen the paintings of like one or two lines and then like a, a you know, a splatter of ink and that painting goes for $25,000. So it's creating value, creating something that someone else views as valuable. Look at the people on YouTube who video camera their life or who vlog their life. And when they get paid to do that. And they like, get millions and millions of people following them and all they're doing is is just being themselves and screwing around for the day and people <laughs> like, will that, pay yeah. To go watch someone, yeah. you know, or then you have video gamers, right? Who battle, who battle robots. I mean, Twitch TV, you know, mm-hmm. online. That's yeah. a huge, huge value add. For they people. do put a lot of work into that, though. You know, I mean, those takes a ton of well, time. Well, yeah, and you're and editing and whatnot. Yeah, but, exactly. I mean, but it, I think it's moving online. If they didn't have, if the, if the internet wasn't here, and the access to information, the ab- ability to share and connect with all those people, what is the, I mean, what are they going to be doing? 
Yeah. And the UPY, you have people who create those companies, those service I, companies. I think the thing is, you, if you have to start thinking of, you know, our, our, our species essentially is not earthbound. Because there's no way with artificial intelligence and all these jobs that 7 billion, 8, 9 billion people are going to be able to support agree. themselves. You're going to have to get off this planet, start colonizing, having space stations, you know, and, and very much like Star Trek is. Right. Yeah, it's and an, at that point you could start to, to consciously understand and see that and be like, okay, that's how both can survive. I totally agree, and I think it's bizarre how how uh, slow we have been to go into the space frontier. I, I, I mean, that's, yeah, that's true. I, that's we, we know everything about this planet. I mean, I say that with loosely, but we know quite a bit about this planet. About the ground, we know a lot. But about our ground. our from our from our res- resources standpoint. You know, we got the sun, and we got you know, the, obviously all the all the natural resources here in 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 on the planet Earth. But moving elsewhere, like we haven't even touched that. We, we will have, though. How, in, how in can our we generation, go to we will. I mean, I, and I think AI. That's going to be. Th- this is going to be think great. AI is going to be a huge factor of that. I I agree. And, and what? And, well, let, and how though? Why? Well, they're good. I mean, because look, I mean, if you have machines that are going to build your spaceships, you have yep. machines that are going to chart new new charts and you know and, and map the universe essentially, yep. right? And it's a lot of data to crunch. Yeah. You know, so. look at the Mars rover. I mean, that was that was yep. not a manned you know uh, vehicle or robot. It was a robot. Now, whether it was controlled by humans or not, I mean, but if you have if you can incorporate algorithmic um, processes into these robots, and hey, you know. Go to Mars and explore and collect all your data, and we'll come back and check on you in a year. Well, that robot's going to say, "Yes, master, you created me. I'm going to do what I yeah. what I'm supposed to go do." Right. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Unless, unless it is like you said, pure consciousness, and then in which case, probably yeah. not. They can do what they want. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, and then they, would they, they create right? their own Maybe alien enough. species, come back and kill us all. I mean, I, <laughs> it's crazy. It's it, the, the possibilities are endless. Well, let's let's talk about that for a second. I mean, Terminator, right? I mean, when you, remember when you first saw Terminator? Yeah. Was that not the scariest shit you ever saw? That was well, it, like the most believable scary. It crap was. It was very believable because it goes, well, "We create robots. Robots become smarter than they well, do. We, wanted, we wanted to shut them down. Yeah, you know, we wanted to. And turn so they off. said no. Yeah, they what said, "What are you doing? Hell no! You can't turn me off." Yeah. They created a virus that basically, you know, went and, and, and every machine infected it. And force them to turn on Skynet, which is right? so easy, so believable, to think so about, simple right? for that to happen. This is the solution. Yep, you know, I'm sure they helped guided people along yeah. the way that were creating it. You know, gave them the right code, like you said, the algorithm. Ooh, I figured this. This will solve our problems. And of course, yep. they created it. How easy would that be to drop an email, right? Even yeah. creating it from one center to the other, they wouldn't even know that happened, right? Especially yeah, I, when you have a massive government. I mean, it's it's scary, and I do think um, I think one of the uh, top, I guess, uh, new sectors will be security and monitoring. It already is. I mean, it's, it's huge right it's now. It's huge right now, but I mean, I think it more more but, monitoring. But you have people, you have the, you know, the Russians and you have the Chinese and you have all these different, you know, North Korea and all these different hacking groups, right? But right. they're people driven. As far as yeah, we know. Right, right, yeah. Right. And what happens if that turns into computer driven? <sighs> Like purely oh. creating their own viruses and stuff. I mean, and, and and here's the thing, and I, I guess this kind of ties everything together. But these machines and these robots and these a, the AIs, there's no sleeping. You know that's full on, twenty four seven. We have to go to sleep and we lose consciousness and who knows where the hell we go when we sleep. But we're not in this reality when yeah, we're you, sleeping. You don't have young kids. I don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see. I'm going, going sleep. sleep. REM sleep. What are you Man, talking? REM sleep. <laughs> I see, not in years. <laughs> uh, but I mean, the consciousness leaves our body and goes somewhere else. As far as we know, these these things that we're creating are on twenty four seven. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, being able to monitor and and they have more time to. To advance than than we do. I mean, mm-hmm. think of all the devices that will be connected as soon as the Internet of Things like is fully functional. I mean, I can I don't know how many devices I have that are connected to Wi-Fi at home. I got TV, tablets, phones, computers. I mean, all those things. Do you have a definitely Bluetooth outnumber? Do you have a Bluetooth uh, toaster yet? A Bluetooth toaster? I don't. Well, what are you? Like, one day, you have, one day who are you? Do you have a Bluetooth toaster? <laughs> I'm, <just kidding>. I'm <laughs> thinking from a business Jesus. perspective, like no, that is a thing. That is a thing. You don't okay. want to toast yes. it from upstairs when you're in the you toilet, yeah. you know, like toast. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You do. I, it, it's, it's there. It's out there. Call, I'm assuming coffee. They have, they have smart TVs. Or they have smart uh, refrigerators now, where you can 
sync up you to your can, phone. You can and see what you're missing. Yeah, they tell you what thing. you're missing. They can order it. I mean, the, it's gonna the be Nest. Uh, that's the what Walmart. Amazon. That's what Amazon and Walmart want to do by or uh, Whole Foods. They want to like sync up to these smart fridges so that they go, mm-hmm. oh, you know, you're missing this. You want to go ahead and order it? And sure, click. Ship it right they ship it right yeah. there. You pay for it automatically, probably with Bitcoin. Drone. I mean, drone. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> not, not with Bitcoin. Not, oh not for man. A while. Uh, we won't go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> that would be another whole another hour to this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about uh, will will robots and AI, will they pay themselves through those? Yeah. Will they I use mean, digital assets? Are they going to walk their ass to the bank and take cash out? Because that's, that's why I loved yeah. about the whole Will uh, Robin uh, Bicentennial man. He had all this money, but they didn't actually explain like was it U.S. dollars? I thought that was like an interesting concept. Hmm. But no, uh, no, at it, the was, end, it was well. It was. I think it was. It was. I it was, think it was U.S. US dollars. dollars. I mean, yeah. it, well, there wasn't Bitcoin back then. No, no, no. Even try to like it. Well, I think I think the their robots and AIs uh, are gonna are gonna have their own type of currency. I think what's again what's valuable to them. How is that even possible though? I mean, is that ultimately if they want to live in our world, right? Which they will. And they want to be, I guess, on a somewhat even par. They're gonna have to use our money, right? Questions. We're talking about money. <laughs> them making money. Let's talk about us making. Money. How do we make money from in artificial intelligence like this? What stocks? What companies? Why? What's your thoughts on that, Adam? Did you, uh, uh, my thoughts. How, how you my thoughts that? are to look at what companies are buying other companies, because in the okay. end of the day, your Apples, your Googles of the world, and we can go on and down the list. Yep. You know, and your chip manufacturers, they're going to accumulate any radical new technologies or companies. You know, it'd be a, a very easy and acceptable exit strategy. Sure. For that startup. Sure. Right? Well, mergers and acquisitions is a huge way to make money. So ultimately, it's probably buy a lot of the same blue chip companies or some of the bigger companies now. But there may be one that you know the owner is like a Steve Jobs of the world, right? Yeah. He's a visionary and he yeah. wants to go public himself and and create this massive monster. Like in Bicentennial Man or yeah. in uh, iRobot, right? Those are Another massive conglomerates, right? Yeah. That yeah. essentially owned all the robot space. Yeah. And there probably will only be a few. I mean, you know, we still have anti-monopoly laws, so there probably will be more than one manufacturer of right. robots. You know, or has maybe to be for dozens. Now. And for now. and you you know yeah, there's always gonna be the Internet of Things and all those different products, right? But as far as robots that come into your house and robots and certain things like that, you yeah. know, we talk about those. I mean. I don't know. Yeah, have you heard about? You've heard about. See too many brands. Obviously, iRobot. Yeah. So publicly traded, IRBT mm-hmm. makes Roomba and all the other yeah. household robots. It's doing uh, well, right? It's doing pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, not like the last two months, but yeah, I, you yeah. know, it had a huge run up, and we're talking, I think, four hundred percent growth in two, three years. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so that's that's a very interesting company, iRobot. I I truly did not even know they were publicly traded till I think a year ago. And then when we bought the we bought our Roomba, I looked up the price. They're like eighty dollars a share. What's but I was like, what, that's kind of cheap. What's their thought. market cap? Do you remember? Uh, not off the top of my head. I'd have to look really quick. But I don't remember off the top of my head of their market. Ten billion, cap. twenty billion, um, five billion. I'd say probably ten. Ten sounds pretty much about right because they had yeah. a lot of shares coming at that price. Well, compare that to your apples of the world. They're still small, like, yeah, right? But like then again, an ant. Can you invest in that to make some money, right? Uh, there's an ETF out there called Bots, which mm-hmm. is brand new. B O T Z. Bots. And so it's an ETF uh, that tracks uh, emerging market AI and robotic companies and it groups hmm. them together. That's and interesting. Yeah, it's a very cool ETF. It's so kind of like hack, right? You told me you're trying which to I like, hack. Yeah, right? and hack security. So hack, you talked about cybersecurity. If you're interested in making some money there, ticker symbol HACK is a cybersecurity conglomerate. Pretty it much. Nice. last year. So which is a great buying opportunity. Up, it's yeah. probably up now. It is. The, I think it's up like 50% since it. Yeah. Uh, or maybe 30, 35%. But uh, yeah, bots is a very interesting. I'll take a look at that. Um, What's the ticker symbol? B O T Z. B O T Z. Is there an opportunity? I mean, I know there's already algorithms out there that trade for you, but mm-hmm. can you, as an individual, write your own algorithm and have an AI trade on the platforms that you trade on? Absolutely. If you want? Yeah. That's, um, now you have to learn the strategies. You have to come up with that part. Uh, that's why if you know anyone who's really good at the stock market and those strategies, you know, then they, that person can become pretty viable because they can create strategies that can build into an API. Most platforms right now have APIs where you can create a black box, sync it up, and it'll just do all the trades for you automatically. Now, the hard part with that is, and the, the challenging, the strategy part comes down to, it's robotic. Meaning if it says buy here, sell here, and that's the algorithm, it's going to do that every single time that it sees yeah. that true or false. And that's, 
Either, like it either tricky. hits it or it doesn't. Either it hits it or it doesn't, yeah. Smile, yeah. Um, and then if you have that one bad day where, oh, shoot, I missed the comma. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so the thing is, in Flash <laughs> Boys, where they talked well, about high frequency. that high frequency trading? Correct, absolutely. So high frequency yeah. trading, but they're doing it on a massive scale, and they're and they're talking these nanoseconds, right? They're yeah. Like, taking yeah, these yeah. trades. But what people don't talk about is how many high frequency trading firms have failed. There's a lot that have failed, right? I mean, we're talk- yeah. every single one that's ever created makes millions? No. A lot of them have failed because of those reasons. Either the strategies weren't correct or, um, you know, this not, has nothing to do with the, the intelligence of the machine, of the computer. It's all still humanistic. There still will be those programming errors that will come in, you know. And uh, But I was saying earlier, it's, it's going to make things faster and faster and faster. I mean, like I said, traveling is going to be, traveling is already insanely fast. I mean, you can get point A to point B in an hour and a half for an airplane, you know. Um, but that's so fast compared to how it was 100 years ago. Yeah, and I yeah. think I think um, you know robots will start to see that our I think our the thing we value the most, and I think it's more of a subconscious than a conscious thing. But I think sometimes we're like, is our time? I mean, oh, I I agree and disagree at the same time. I agree the time is most valuable asset. I think most people don't know that, though. right? But I'm, some people do. Some people absolutely. Yeah. And, but if, I, I think the majority do does take they take time for granted. But I think if AIs can realize how much we really do value time or know that. I mean, that can that can get scary too because they can they can start they know how valuable it is for us to get from point A to point B that much quicker. Yeah. But I mean, that eventually that becomes almost like their their bargaining chip. Man, there's if we're talking yeah. about full well, the other thing of time is they have no consciousness of it. Right, because to them, I mean, what do they do? Change their hard drive? Yeah, like you said, the three sixty five seven. Right. Okay, but their, I guess their consciousness would be stored in the cloud, right? All their memories would be stored in the cloud. (laughs) What even is the cloud? So I guess I guess you could say, could you turn off the cloud? Right. Somebody somebody's got to physically store it, right? So you know, if you look at Terminator, it was on a chip in the brain, right? Right. It was all under those you know quad core processing chips, right? So. And that's a, you know, I, I asked it before, but is there a kill switch? You know, I think you have to build kill switches you have to to. all these I figure, things. I, I feel. Do, is there one now where the whole internet can just shut down? I, I, like on I South Park, do you see that episode? I have not, no. Okay, so there's one South Park episode where they have to, I love, by the way, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, if you're watching, big fan. Um, there's this, <laughs> the government has this router. It's one, like, one of those stupid plastic ones you buy from Walmart with the yeah. two stupid things. It was, like, a huge one in the military compound, <laughs> yeah. and that was the internet. And so you could just turn it on and off, and uh, it went off in the whole world. And it was, you know, it was I, incredible. I, no, I don't think you can you shut, can. You yeah. can shut no. off the internet. Yeah, because there's, there's, there's server farms, and, yep. you know, the, whole, the only way to do it is you EMP the whole thing. You know, you just so EMP, no kill you EMP Earth, right, if you could develop a big enough bomb. You know, and then that would take it out. Will the robots allow us to build that? No. No, they wouldn't. Why wouldn't no, they? Probably not. Yeah. If and, smart and, and they would develop technology to shield themselves from yeah. it, which is most of the military. Yeah. You know. I mean, the next war is going to be a you know fought with sticks and stones, right? And, <laughs> you know, unless you've got the technology to shield your machine mm-hmm. from you know, EMP. Yeah. Yeah. Man, the, the technology that the military has right now, I'm sure, in this space is just mind-boggling. I mean, oh, what was that movie? Stealth, right? With the... Uh, do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah, where the machine essentially was... It was a pilot... Uh, yeah. I mean, it pilot, wasn't the jet. best AI movie, but uh, it no, raised it was, questions. It wasn't bad. They always do. It was a jet fighter that knew what was surroundings. Like, it knew everything, and it started killing, you know... It was good it had its own agenda. It had its own we're, agenda, yeah. We're, we're, we're not too far off here, boys, so... Well, we're, we're, we're dangerous. I mean, we, like... It's funny. Somebody will watch this probably in ten years and be like, God, "Laugh at us, morons. what idiots!" Like, you know, like they thought this, this, and that. I mean, so but, but the thing stupid. is, it's hard for us because you know we grew up without the internet. Right? Yep. At least I did. And then around 13, extent, 14, yeah. you know, American Online came out, and then here we are. <sighs> now we gosh. have Pontiac smartphones Van. and Pontiac Van. What was your AOL <laughs> Messenger screen name? I don't remember. <laughs> yes, you do. Think about it. Yeah. Think about it. You uh, know. This should be that. a question for every guest we have on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And we're going we're gonna to get some guy who's like, I've never had a well, year, like in four <laughs> and, years from And now. then we're going to be like, oh, man. Yeah. That's, there's a generational gap. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for that to happen. Um because I think at the very first podcast we had, we talked about like AOL and the CDs, you know, 5,000 free hours or whatever it was. Right. And well, those were amazing. Yeah. Talk about a marketing distribution strategy. Whew. It's insane, man. man. And they were so colorful and like, ooh, you put <laughs> yeah. it in your thing. And yeah. Follow the prompts. Yep. You know? 
And yeah. the first time made all that noise, you know. Yeah, the sign up. <laughs> you sign got up. mail. Like, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So anyway, I mean, like, we're, we're in an interesting time. I mean, really, we are. I mean, you have cryptocurrencies. You have the stock market at all time highs. You have, you know, this, this this looming threat, right, with with carbon. I mean, that's that's a big deal. I mean, they're saying that twenty five percent of most people will be underwater, right? Coastal Miami. You know, you talk about Bangladesh, those places. Mm-hmm. It's almost gonna happen. Unless we can reverse it, maybe our AI can help us do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, but in the end of the day, there's a lot of challenges that we're dealing with, and I think AI is damn near at the top of the list. Hmm. You know, and I think we'll have that. You know, you'll be watching that 60 minute you know special one day on when AI went wrong. You know, and let's just hope we catch it and right, and it becomes part of the the, the consciousness that we have to control it, right? Because it's not there quite yet. You've yeah. seen idio- uh, idiocracy. One of our favorite movies. So underrated. Love it everywhere. I feel like... If you haven't watched it, please watch this movie. I feel about 90... Whew. There's, there's Spot always... Spot on. There's going to be... And I think that's what that's what we're moving into. I mean, look who our president is. <laughs> we're 30 minutes I mean, into it's the a, movie. It's a, it's, a, it's a, if you will, a celebrity who was elected, you know, who got elected. Did Correct. You see, did you see the thing on Bob Corker today? Did you see that? No, oh, I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other conversation. A whole other, whole other combo. Huh? But I feel like, you know... The majority is moving into that type of, that type of oh era. Or, or what a film, Costco. Well, I hear Mark Cuban's going to run, right? It's, so it's there gonna, you go. That's what Donald Trump has done, right? He's changed the presidency. It, it, and and I'm glad so it happened. Happy. I will say this: I'm very glad it happened because it needed to be changed. Uh, needs yeah. to be changed. You didn't have to, you didn't have to be, be a career politician. Needs you could to be just different. be popular Correct. and have good ideas. Yeah. Um, and with YouTube, there's going to be a YouTube president elected 20 years from now, probably some guy on YouTube. Um, Very possible. Has Somebody 100 billion, you know, and 100 I billion think the views. more we move into that type of, uh, you know, existence, and and just have people who are just not on or just plugged in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, we're we're almost creating the landscape subconsciously for AI to take over, in my opinion. So we'll do it. Huge. So huge. Or to influence significantly. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. In order to avoid that, listeners. Get smarter. Learn things. Listen read to this things, podcast. Listen this is what, this podcast. Is the, this is the stuff we cover. Yes. New age, new developing stuff, where we're going to be in 10 years, where we've came from, a lot of different topics. Thank you, Adam, for being here today. Yeah. It's thanks, a pleasure. Man. Pleasure Appreciate having you. Appreciate it. This has been IR4. Turn that brain on. You guys rock.